absurd to me. Like, the programs for it and the requirements and stuff like that is just absurd. Humble brag? No. It's, it's not a humble brag in the slightest. College was a lot of fucking money. And I probably would have never even gone had the military not been paying for me. I only went to school because of the fact that the military was uh, paying for my university. Otherwise, I would have never gone. Oh, whoops. Uh, you know, I'm actually okay with this start. Oh, Jesus. When is Summer SPL? I believe it starts really soon, actually, McLovin. Uh, I can get you an exact date soon. Uh. See ya. <laughs> Holy moly, you have to pay for a public college? Everybody has to pay. Oh, I guess, I guess if you're from, like, the EU. In a lot of European countries, I think that they cover college for you, or, like, university for you. But, uh... It, it's a lot of money in the U.S. You have to pay if you're going to public education unless you get, like, scholarships and stuff like that. But scholarships are really hard to attain. I I think that they're actually even going up on, like, the requirements needed to apply to scholarships and stuff like that. And the problem for me is that, like, I would have applied to scholarships, but I kept encountering the problem because my family wasn't well off, like, my family didn't start being okay until my dad finished med school and then my dad became a doctor and so that was all like fine and dandy and like shout out to the army for you know paying for his university too but um the problem was is that my family was considered too well off for me to be eligible to apply for a lot of the scholarships that i would have like wanted or needed and so that was like a large part of the reason why I ended up resorting to the military to have them help me pay for school. Because uh, in reality, I, like my parents probably could have afforded to pay for me, but I just didn't want to ask that of them. I, I don't know. I, it's like they, they spent like 18 years of my life paying for everything that I did. So I, I just wanted some self-responsibility at the time. And I was also tired of being broke as hell. So I knew that if I joined the military that like I would actually have my own funny or uh, money and stuff. And yeah, it ended up working out. But yeah, it really sucked, man. It, it did suck, but... I mean, like, college sucked. Like, not in like a, a completely awful way, but there were definitely a lot of issues that I encountered at university. I went to a pretty good school, too. I went to a really, really good school for being a public university. And I still just had so many problems, man. With, like, professors just, like, not giving a shit and things like that. I've never seen so many people care less for being paid so much. That's what drove me crazy. I don't have an army commander here. I don't know. I mean, I'm more open about, like, discussing it nowadays, but... For me, it's kind of one of those, like, weird spots to be in because all of my friends, like, from IRL, like, all the friends that I have, they're still, like, in service. And I guess it just doesn't feel as real to me because I never got deployed anywhere or anything like that. I was in the military, like, I was in service during a time period where, like, flat out, there just wasn't that much action going on in the world. And so there wasn't really any need for, like, military people. So, like, even scholarship money from military and stuff was kind of tight. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys or not, but yeah. We should just do this. They should be careful. Retreat. We shouldn't fight this at all. This is Jean. Jean is level 3. Frick! I was hoping the Hachi might not have had that dash. Uh, they might have greeted it. Alright. Sure. 
This skin is pay to win? Yo, Disparity! Thank you so much! I appreciate it, Disparity. I really do. Welcome, welcome to the Kyo family. Frick, dude. My, my dual lane. No, Woodsy! I believe in you! Woodsy Superior! Oh my god. A dual lane that wins the lane. I never thought I'd see the day. It is Woodsy, though. I trust... I trust you. Enemy missing left. Uh, I don't have much more gold left on this. Yeah, thank you so much, Disparity. <laughs> These rat noises, man. <laughs> they crack me up, I swear. I am out. So I hope you live, but if you don't, thank you, bro. Uh, what a beast. What a beast, man. I'm surprised that Najah actually ulted me there, though. I didn't think that Najah would ult me, honestly. He had no follow-up damage. So I was really surprised when he actually committed. And then my duo killed it, and they rotated, and I was like, yes! Nice. Dude, Woodsy has been on point with these freaking Neath ults. Holy man. Nice. That worked out perfectly. 
Quick little double kill over there. Now we rotate over here. Damn, dude. What a time to be alive. Looks like Herc's going for the wave. I need to go buy Transcendence. It's a pretty big power spike for me. Probably kill him again, right? Why did people buy Soul Reaver first item, man? On Scylla, <laughs> I still don't understand the Soul Reaver first item rush. Terra is freaking OP. That was her beats. But like, I don't know. People don't know why Zeros does it though. And plus, Zeros is also pl doing that in competitive. In competitive, I totally get it because you've got like teammates who will follow up. I cannot understand it for the life of me anywhere else. There's no point in me ganking this chalk. This chalk's level 10. I'm gonna do like five damage to him and then back off. Whoops. Oopsies. Uh oh, I think I'm dead. Yeah. Uh, caps? Yeah. <laughs> that dude def suicided to kill me for no freaking reason. I'm actually gonna go Aegis second, dude. I don't care. Looking at their team damage, like, I think Aegis is gonna save me more than beats. All right, it should be free. Woohoo! Zeros was a season three world champ. Zeros was technically a world champ, wasn't he? Because he was the coach of Energy when they won in season three. So yeah, Zeros, Zeros is a world champ title. If you're the coach of a, of a world championship team, you still get the merit and the credit for it. Killing me when I'm 6-0 is probably worth dying. Uh, no, I don't think so. I would say, normally I would be okay with that, and I would say that that's, like, worth it. 
But it's not worth it when the enemy jungle is still going to be able to, like, go in. I have no idea why he was ulting that guy. I'm just gonna wait for the Nerja. Be careful left. Set up an ambush here. Enemy missing left. Cancel that. No problem. Your left tower is under attack. On my way. What do you think about E United this season? Uh, I mean, they're clearly struggling. I don't. I shouldn't say struggling. I think that the summer split is going to be very scary because I, I think a lot more teams have become more familiar with like what can and can't work in competitive. I'm I'm really excited for the summer split. Honestly, I think that all the teams that we have right now are like awesome to watch. I, and I think that NA is a super fun region to watch because they're so aggressive. Pulling this without a ward on it. Yeah, buddy. Ultimate is ready. Return to base. Yes, I'll attack. No On my problem. way. Sorry, my way. <laughs> All right. Well, that's an early as fire giant. Oh, I might die here. Shit. Yeah. Definitely was not paying attention there. I could have played that, like, infinitely better. Oh, well. I'll be okay, I think. Sucks I lost my fire, but it'll be okay. When will Korea come to smite, man? They'd wrecked everything? Yeah, Dota and League, I think, are the main reasons why you don't see many, uh, like, all those other countries getting involved. It's just because Dota and League are so massive in, like, areas like Korea and China and stuff like that already. Right 
back. Starcraft not Dota? I'm pretty sure that, Do they not do Dota too? I just assumed, honestly. I honestly just assumed that it'd be big on Dota over there too. My the I'm two out of three deaths on my team. Oh my god, not like this. I'm actually trolling. <laughs> oh my god, dude. They all chased me, so they all died. I mean, we got what we wanted. I have so much gold. Like, actually so much gold. Alright, I got my Void Shield. And now let's get a Brawlers. And uh, I think we're still chilling. Yeah. Wait until I have my next full item. So I bought, I bagged for two full items. That's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, oh no. 
horses! Dude, are they really all gonna live? No! Okay, they died. Alright, we got all three Phoenixes down. I couldn't Aegis in time. I kept trying to Aegis and I just messed up. Then Ajao's only been ulting me every time I go in. But now they don't have Scylla or Najal for the people that are actually doing damage on my team. So who's really trolling here? They should just focus the Phoenix. Or a Titan. Nice! Get mad, guys? I could've, but... Wait, does Terra really have top kills? Terra does have top kills, that's pretty troll. Stop feeding? Dude, I was the sacrificial lamb. That way we could win. What am I supposed to do? I was baiting. I was baiting for double ults. That way my team could easy siege. Alright? Alright. 